The latest update to Verb Edit brings an innovative new way to quickly produce beautifully stabilized videos with multiple camera angles, zoom levels, and even Tiny Planet from your 360 videos. Introducing Hyperframe Director Mode. Begin by using the editing side of Verb Edit to piece together the flow of your video. After you've finished editing your video, select the Viewing Experience tab. Now, let's show you Hyperframe in action. Within the Hyperframe editing suite, you'll find a few options. Beginning with the timeline, you'll have a video line and a camera angle line. The video line should already have your piece together footage. The camera angle line should be blank other than the dark gray dot and line. To see more or less of the timeline, you can use the zoom feature on the left hand side. On the camera angle line, the first dot will represent the original perspective of the camera. In order to adjust this angle, click at the beginning of your video line, then click Add New Angle. For this new angle, we can adjust the different sliders or simply drag the video around and scroll to zoom in and out. The Pan feature allows you to pan left and right. The Tilt feature allows you to tilt up and down, and the Zoom feature allows you to zoom in and out. It is important not to leave this box before clicking Save while we adjust the different angles. Doing so may result in reverting your angle back to where it was previously. To add another angle, let's use the Add New Angle feature. Some of our favorite angles are the ultra-wide camera lens effect and the tiny planet zoom effect. To do either, Begin by clicking the video line where you would like to add your new angle. Let's adjust for a new camera angle. By zooming all the way out, you'll be able to see the ultra-wide camera lens effect. Then by using the tilt feature, we can see the tiny planet effect. When your angle looks good, click Add New Angle, which will place a new angle point on the line and save your angle. Once you have multiple angles added to the timeline, you may find that you want to edit one or more of your angles. To do this, begin by clicking on the camera angle dot on the timeline where you would like to edit. Adjust the different settings you would like to see. Then click Save. To ensure that your angle does not transition early, you can duplicate a previous angle and drag it across the timeline to the time that you want the angle to last. You will also have the option to modify how the camera angle changes from one to the next. You can do this using the motion feature listed below the three sliders. The none option will force the angle to immediately jump from one to the next. Whereas the three others will allow for different variations of an animated movement. When you export your video, it will be exactly as you see it in verb edit and viewable at 1080p on all traditional platforms such as television. You're now ready to start producing creative, engaging videos that are ushering in a new way to capture and share life experiences. Thanks for watching and have fun using these new features on Garmin Verb Edit.